Hello Pisces and welcome to your solar year coffee cup birthday reading. This is my gift to you guys. I love birthdays and it's Pisces season and this is going to be a very general reading. It's just an intuitive reading for the sign of Pisces. You know, we go up through ups and downs during the years, uh, during the year or years, <laughs> but whatever shows up there. So we'll see. Um, if you'd like one of these readings, they are available on my website and the link to my website is below this video. So let's, um, okay, so I drank the coffee cup. We're going to see what the energies come through there. I'm going to cast some Astro Die as a theme for the year too, pull some cards too. And um, now you could pause the video now because I have three wish cards here. You could make one wish, two wish, pick a card, whichever you want. And we'll reveal those at the end of the reading. Okay, mind you, it's just for the solar year. And there's usually explanations with it if it's a yes or a no. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with your plates. You have spiritual protection. Okay, there's a sense of spiritual purging. Um, um, they, some of you may even have some kind of, um, I don't know, confusion. But it's a, it, 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 with spiritual either work or spirit, your spirituality, your intuition. But um, you have some protection too because there may be some difficulty. See, you have um, really smooth and um, exciting um, energy. And then you have here where you're doubting, soul searching, and it's kind of emotional purging. But you're closing up a cycle. You're closing up a, a cycle. There is a karmic cycle that's being closed up, okay? Something definitely resurrected from the past. Um, unsolved issues are coming through. You've got the power to get through it. Uh, be careful of jealousy. There is maybe a toxic person. Remember, this could be for someone just out there. A very toxic person who either love, lives vicariously through you is quite jealous, or this person is severely critical. Severely critical, and it's someone that you need to get rid of. Um... Make sure that you don't you don't assume anything either before you have all the facts um, as well because making any how do I want to say judgment calls on that um, can be very effective so you can't go back on it so to speak okay so don't you could gain or lose from making some decisions this year they, they could be major life changes for some of you so so we are seeing that manifestation is very high you have spiritual protection here um be careful what you wish for because you can manifest a lot and there could be a wish fulfillment but be careful what you wish for okay all right so that is what showed up there i'm gonna move that out of the way because that's going to be in the way and let's see what the coffee cup has to say let's get this out of the way Okay, a lot of you have burdens that you're going to release something. Maybe you've been working hard, going to school, working at the same time, things like that. It's going to be coming to an end and it's going to be worth it. That's one thing I'm seeing too because that's like uh, purging as well. It's something you'll be working hard on. Well, the whole foundation, heart of the matter, there is going to be some changes. There is some clearing too. Okay, so if you don't move this year, you may move in the future or there's just going to be some readjustments. Maybe you have a home business and you need to readjust your space. Um, things like that are showing up. So there could be some renovations, readjustments to make that space of yours. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of readjustments showing up there, okay? Maybe you don't like where you live anymore. Something may be asking you to just move. Overall, I see a lot of diverse different energies around you. You are on the path to success and victory but it's after a lot of work a lot of struggles uh you emerge very successful the point is it's going to take a lot you're going to get a lot done it could be a very busy year some of you know you know it's like you want to start something but you're like oh it's going to be so hard well hard work is going to pay off so that's one thing you can't skip that Okay, so you want something, it's like, you know, someone wants to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I don't want to go to medical school or law, law school. Well, okay, you know, or they're so rich, they make money. Well, you know, they went to school. So that type of energy is showing up. There is hard work to be put in. You will get a lot done, but it's and you will have a victory over your endeavors. So I see that overall. I do see making some kind of choice. Some of you have... Like you're doing two things at the same time, either two jobs or you're learning something on the side to improve a business or work. Um, so that is going to be combining together. 
uh, you have a lot of supportive energy here, too. You need to focus on your intuition. It is very, very strongly indicated here, too. Um, you're feeling trapped in so many ways. So it's like looking at how to free your soul this year, how to free yourself as well. Okay, maybe you put you've taken on too much. Maybe you do too much for others. Whatever area it is here, you need to clear that off. Okay, because there's a sense that your soul wants to be free as well. Okay, I do see that. So wisdom is very important. You could come off as very wise this year. This is good for uh, teaching, for spiritual work. I do see that energy coming through too. I think there's a female here who may be very significant for some of you. Uh, this year, this person is very, very uh, spiritual, very knowledgeable too. So you're being kind of guided here. Um, that's showing up for some of you too. I do see uh, get the sleep that you need because I see a lot of you this sleepless nights and that's going to get you sick. So be careful. You could have mysterious little illnesses and that's only because of stress. Dealing with headaches or stress, um, getting the sleep and rest that you need is going to be important. It's like, you know, a lot of you, it's like you're, you, you take two steps forward and then three steps back or something that's like a bump in the road and then it's like, oh, where, where am I going from here? So you got to keep persevering, but you also need to not worry so much and know what to shut down and what to do and wh when to uh, readjust things. That's one thing I do see there. I do see you're going to be closing up a lot of things that have been emotionally bothering you. This could be uh, people, relationships. Some of you are really going to be walking away from some either responsibilities, duties, uh, work, adjusting things, or it can be people that you're associated with. It's not worth it anymore because I see then a very strong, um, you have a few crosses, so that indicates transformation, end of a negative cycle, uh, the birth of a new one. Uh, Self-transformation is huge here. And for a lot of you, it's directly um, connected to the work you do. This could be a change in the way you make money. This is the way you do your business, the um, your career path. A lot of changes there, okay? Um, or it's just you're kind of merging there. Um, I do see for a lot of you, you're going to uh, you're going to make some very official agreements, signing documents, contracts, agreements. This could be even buying and purchasing a home because I see some of you may be investing money in a large purchase. This could be a home, um, some kind of uh, good work or business deal. But you know, it's can be legalities dealing with le um, court. Uh, this year too. So I do see that. It's something official that I do see. It did show up for some of you. And it looks good for most of you. I do see some... Ooh. Okay. So I do see new love, renewal of love, or just a very new spiritual beginning. And if it is connected, this could be... Actually, for some of you, this could be karmic justice, where um, someone that's hurt you or for a long time um, has been kind of hanging there or has taken you to court so many times, it may be even a surprise because it comes back to this person or they just kind of leave. Um, so I'm seeing that energy too. So because I do see a lot of things ending in your life uh, this year. It's you got quite a bit of challenges, but there's a lot of internal purging too. Um, I do see travel. Um, there's going to be some travel this year or at least thoughts of travel, but I do see some of you maybe purchasing like a new vehicle. Um, some kind of form of transportation. For some of you, this could be even an airplane. Someone may buy, buy their own jets. Someone out there must be because I see something like that. Um, karmic cycle, dealing with that. There's going to be a sudden turn of events. And this is connected to matters of the heart. Um, love. Now, if it's your job, this could be changes with contracts. Um, because some people are married to the job. Okay, so there's going to be some big change there, too. I do see that uh, there's something you're still working hard on. You still have some work to do. Okay, so there's a lot of focus on building your career, building uh, work, um, a focus on whatever it is that you're really working hard to, um, to complete. Okay, so that could be even school. So I do see a lot of that energy coming through as well. So you have... Um, there is this energy that you are expanding in somehow, in some way, but it does take work and there's a lot of readjustment. So a lot of, um, matters of the heart came through and a lot of, um, home foundation is going to be changing. And also I'm seeing these are official agreements. 
Um, also a lot of work and how you work. There's a lot of changes there. Okay. And trusting your intuition. And you do have, I saw on the plate, you do have um, spiritual protection. Uh, this is like angelic protection that I saw. So it's not the worst year, you know, solar year, but it's got uh, quite a bit of changes. So you have um, keeping things more to yourself is going to be very important because if you give the heads up, you never know who's out there watching um, because they want to block you. I saw that something on the plate too. So you could be dealing with severe critics, but also the way you're going to express yourself, communicate to others is going to be very important because it's like your words could have power, uh, strength. I see that too. Um, you can't take back things that you said. Some things just, uh, stab and, um, hurt or they're very powerful. Someone's going to hear you very well this year as well. So there's, um, um, sense of common sense and wisdom that's really strongly indicated here. I do see also victories and success. Um, and working hard after um, putting in a lot of work, you're going to things are going to turn around for you. Closing up of one karmic um, cycle. Be careful of people around you who have. I don't know if it's addictions or some kind of negativity is showing up here. Um, you need to resolve that. Okay, you need to. Um, either remove yourself from it and this could be even at your own uh, mindset okay but working hard and perseverance is going to bring uh, bring your rewards so that's what basically it showed up for you guys some of you may be dealing with children or at least a child is coming into focus here too okay so this could be changes uh there as well okay now i'm going to cast the astral die Ninth house, moon, Gemini. Okay, let me put them up here because I'm going to need room for the card. This is like a theme for the year. Oops. Okay, so this is basically just a theme for the year overall. Remember, it's a general reading. Um, what is happening? The moon is coming into focus. And then you have um, how it is in the sign of Gemini. And you have um, where the results are going to come through is in the ninth house. So this is also making sense with the coffee cup reading. Okay. The moon is very intuitive. Okay. But again, it can create confusion. It's very feminine as well. So it represents your inner nature. This is internal purging. It's very intuitive. It's that feeling side. Um, so it's telling you to take notice of your reactions, your emotions this year, um, your instinctive feeling, your gut feeling. It's ruled by cancer. So maybe even cancers could be very important. And trust me, I'm a cancer. I know how that works. We don't do anything unless our intuition. We always, even if it doesn't make sense, it does get later. It's like we use, the, we use our intuition with intellect. And trust me, when you learn to know how to use it, you're going to pick up, okay? So this also can indicate your family coming into focus, females in your life. And I saw someone like a female um, energy that's going to be uh, uh, guiding you this year, very wise. So I am seeing um, here also, the only thing the moon can represent is some confusion. It does deal with your security, sometimes crisis. Pay attention to your dreams, signs, signals, synchronicities, all of that. It's very, very... Um, sensitive to this. This could, this could be dealing with babies. Maybe you go back nostalgic to your early childhood. It could deal with your mother and nurturing energy. So nurturing anything that you start this uh, uh, year too. Hard work and that is going to pay off. Pay attention to moon cycles this year as well. Okay, there can be some deception around you, but with your gut feeling and that, you're going to be able, your instinctive feeling, you're going to be able to pick up on that. Okay, so just know that. And you could be dealing with a lot of water or being around waters this year too. Okay, if you're doing um, like um, some people look at mirrors and um, scribe, that would be very good um, as well as coming through. Now, so that's what's happening with a lot of you. So there's a lot of um, changes there, ups and downs too. But here we're looking at Gemini. So the time of Gemini could be very significant or a Gemini in your life. And I know the North Node will be going to Gemini in May. So that could be very significant for you guys. Now, Gemini is basically, it manifests with communications, how you communicate, with who you communicate, um, creative projects, everyday travel too. 
Okay, there's a sense of restlessness here too, and a variety and a lot of movement, a lot of thinking, um, full of new ideas. Okay, so you may be changing your mind a lot too. Follow through is going to be very important. And this can deal with a Gemini. Uh, uh, you may be dealing with a uh, Gemini in your life this year, may be very significant. Um, or between the Gemini period, something significant may be coming through at that time too. So this is like implementing those ideas, your intuitive thoughts, uh, creativity as well as coming through here too in communication. Uh, very strongly indicated you could be dealing with children, uh, siblings, um, your neighborhood. That is all coming through here too. But here's the results in the ninth house. Now the ninth house, it's a sense of completion, humanitarian pursuits. Um, it does deal with um, far... Um, long distance, okay? This is reaching out globally to others, too. It could be travel. Um, it's, how do I want to say it? It's higher education. So some of you could be studying this year. It could be uh, learning something new. School, this is very good for school as well. Um, foreigners, different diverse energies, okay? Maybe some of you will be going back to college or... Um, something like that. Even your beliefs. This is a spiritual quest. But it can deal with legalities. Okay? And as above, so below. So you can manifest a lot too, but it could be dealing with um, um, also legalities. Okay? And um, a closing a cycle here as well. So that's the themes here. So definitely trust your intuition, your imagination. Create something within. You can make a small wish come through with that too. And here you may feel tied down because it either... Um, other people, um, there's a sense of also with school or something that you're, you know, you're trying to create and build on. Okay. There's that sense that's coming through here as well. So, and be careful what you wish for. We saw that on the plate. Okay. So let's pull some cards. Okay. So there you go. That's the initiated card for the year. Um, eight of cups is saying you're going to be purging a lot ending some cycles don't stay in the past too much keep moving forward okay so there is some closings coming up there too something is just not um serving a purpose anymore and it's bringing you to rebalance think um think what you want what you desire your own truths your own passions and bring those to light okay so and keep some things to yourself as well now the first quarter This is sometimes meditation, um, taking breaks, separating from something as well. Then you have, ooh, you got some swords here, okay? So watch your health and well-being. There could be some conflicts with work, uh, with your lifestyle, every day, um, travel. Um, it's also, you know, it's pushing forward. It is a six. A six always is some kind of victory or doing things with love and resolving some issues. It can be doing a deal with health and well-being as well. It's just the basics there. And the third quarter here is the two of wands, rods in this deck. So pick, uh, making a decision and moving forward with a lot more confidence. So implementing some of those ideas, leaving some things behind here, and here you go, moving forward. In the last quarter, I see temperance, very spiritual, very spiritual. Regaining your balance, doing things differently. It's very artistic, so putting those thoughts and actions into um dwelling into your spiritual work or also um it's very creative it's creating something so you have spiritual guidance as well it's a very spiritual card and yeah it's like there's going to be changes with your career direction home property um this is also sometimes investing your time your energy in something to make it profitable profitable especially in creative endeavors too so we're looking at that energy as well very very um very, very interesting. I'm going to pull these cards and then kind of go by the deacons. Okay, so with the Eight of Cups, know that you're going to be leaving some things and closing things behind. And here's Archangel Michael. So this indicates to me, as I saw on the plate, spiritual protection. Through difficulties in that, you can pray to Archangel Michael, but it's you to have angelic guidance, okay? So you'll be able to close things up and walk away from them as well. And with the King of Wands, you have emerging, like I said, thinking, regaining your balance, thinking, keeping things to yourself, and then bringing them to light. So you are emerging, but that's kind of a challenge to you as well. With the Four of Swords here in the first um, 
quarter friendship. So there could be some friendships that you're going to have to separate from, okay? They will be replenished, though. So I do see that energy coming through, too. Um, take breaks, too, from socializing. That's another way we could look at it. Um, the second quarter, you have abundance, six of swords. So there could be conflicts with maybe work or your lifestyle, things that you're um, doing, or even health and well-being. So it's like, where is your... Um, are you doing the job that you you want to do? Getting through some difficulties is going to bring you abundance too. So that's something to think about. The third quarter, you have study. There you go. That's making sense with the astral die here as well. So um, studying is going to be very important. Learning something new. Uh, focusing, observing. Okay. That's going to bring you some uh, some kind of profit too. And that's going to bring you to the point where you can make that choice. You're moving forward confidently as well. And the fourth quarter closing up, meditation, okay, regaining your balance here, creativity, focus, okay, yep. focusing. Now, when I'm looking at this as well, is if you're born basically the beginning of Pisces, about approximately February 18th through the 28th, um, I just feel here that you need to get moving on some things, okay? It's like it's been long enough of you doing the same old, same old, um, or, you know, you need to kind of recharge, but you've got to keep moving. Um, don't push yourself too hard either. There could be some adjustments too. So uh, definitely there we're seeing also maybe changes with friendships, um, leaving some behind. You know, it's like sometimes you deal with some kind of disappointments as well, but getting the rest that you need and your everyday responsibilities are coming through as well. Um, it's also telling you for to be, um, to put more passion and creativity into your life. There's almost like a life path here too. So it's like um, you may be more optimistic, okay? So I do see there's more innovation here. And preparation is going to be very important. So uh, doing one thing at a time. A lot of anticipation, too, coming through here, too, and working towards your abundance. Now, if you're uh, born, uh, um, like, second um, week of uh, Pisces, which would be approximately, I don't know, the 29th um, and Mar or March 1st, you know, when it's not a leap year, to the 9th, uh, guys... You know, put your dreams into action. Um, your imagination is coming through here very strongly as well. You can create a lot here as well. So definitely do that. Um, there, You may be studying, um, learning something new as well. It could be a little bit difficult to focus because that's the uh, underlying energy coming through. Um, so you need to just... Implement more creativity and fun into your life as well, okay? You could create something very well this year as well. You can readjust things, just doing some things a little bit differently as well. Maybe even school is going to be very important for you guys as well, which is going to bring you some kind of abundance too. Um, if you're born the last week, which is approximately March 10th through, what, the 20th? Um, you guys going to be quite busy, there's a, such a busy, busy tone here. Um, a lot of creativity, a lot of learning, um, taking time out, rethinking your options sometimes. Definitely wish, 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 wish. Because even, you know, where we think they're pipe dreams, um, even having more hope, adjusting some things can really bring things into fruition. Okay? You're emerging somehow as well. So... Have some fun as well. Try to divide your time between work and play and um, be more confident. Um, a lot, you could bring a lot into fruition, especially like blind faith, anything like that. It brings some kind of unexpected good results for you. Okay, that's what I feel here too. Something that you're not expecting as well. All right, so and serenity is going to be very important for you guys as well this year. So that's quite interesting. Um, now let's move to the 
wish cards if you haven't done this already now's the time to pause the video the first um, wish card the answer is no blessing in disguise okay so this could be something that you need to rebalance again no it's a blessing in disguise because i feel that something that's been um it's kind of there's a toxic sense to this okay so just know that there is a blessing in disguise and you can always um, make some readjustments here now the second wish card has possibility strong travel is connected and movement is required so you have to put some action be behind this so this is a new powerful beginning this is rebalancing your energies and a big focus and a journey ahead okay so focus this is even creating maybe something new that first musical note. okay so that's the answer to that one the third wish answer is no tangled frozen immo immovable so it's something's coming to a close. You could you you could be holding on to energy too tightly. This could be dealing with um, rebalancing um, and partnerships too. So I'm saying that I feel there's something's tangled up here. There's either a web of lies connected to this. Um, this could be something in the creativity that you need to adjust, and it can also even talk about your health and well-being. Okay, um, it's making some kind of even changes. Okay, so I'm I'm feeling that energy there too. Well. Uh, Pisces, that was your reading. This was a gift to you guys from me. Um, I wish you all the very best. Um, happy birthday to my husband on March 11th and to my daughter on March 12th. Yeah, back-to-back -back birthdays. I have the Pisces in my life. And to all of you, I want to wish you all a very happy birthday and a wonderful year ahead. And yeah, and this was just a general reading, so doesn't look that bad. Anyway, bye for now.